wall in the old gym. Where's the wall? Where's the hallway with the wall? I need to stand on the infamous wall. Oh, I got you. I know exactly what you're talking about. So they took all the pictures down, huh? Yeah. So we used to come in there. Check. Oh, Troy. No. So I'll tell you, at the end of the school day, I like everything. So that this is like my running joke. I think it bit me because I'm going to be going back to it. The K-8 building, I'm going to be at Thompson. I don't talk to my friends. I was junior and senior administrator. So at the end of the day, once everybody cleared out, I dropped my gates and I said, nice grade. Go get picked up by your parents over here. Big kids over here. So. They're going to walk. I know if it said meet at the main office, you might be thinking O House. Right, that's, what but that's not the main yeah. office anymore. I'm, I'm going to show you everything around. Um, up until this school year, that was actually one of our magnet schools, universities. So they were, we actually had two separate schools on the same campus. So that's when in 2008, we merged all of Southville High into A House, B House, part of O. And then what you all will see, C and D house. And then, yeah. <laughs> what? And I'll blow your mind with G house. But, uh, but then um, last year with the merger, the university moved to Southfield Lathrop's campus and we took back over. So we're no longer Blue Jays. I don't know what you're talking about. Man, your kids say, hey, I'm a Blue Jay. <laughs> the building is no longer the building. 
Because, you know, you all going to get me in trouble. You all going to get me in trouble because the, the people from 12 Mile, the village people that came over, and don't, don't post that. The village people get upset and say, why didn't you all cover that up? I said, oh, I can't find any pain. Yeah. You know, I, I, I can't find but anything. But you know what? That needs to stay. I'm going to come tonight and touch it up. <laughs> right. <laughs> come on, we're going to take a quick tour. Yeah, I'm about to take a picture of that before they get rid of it. I got something better. They're not getting rid of it. Okay, take your time. We host the first robotics competition here in the last five years. District competition. So if you go on YouTube or if you see like state champs will do a feature, this gym gets converted into a robotics competition gym. The auxiliary gym is where we do staging and that's where all of the robots get their renovations and uh, tweaks during the competition. So we turn this entire facility into a structure 
where last year we had robots lifting themselves. And you'll see some of our robots. Uh, it looked like a basketball court for robots two years ago. So this place doesn't even look like this. If you look up First Robotics at Southfield on YouTube, it's gonna blow your mind. We also have hosted two uh, state quarterfinal games for boys and girls basketball. We've hosted regional, we've hosted district for basketball. Right now. So when we move when we move into here, the students hate it. Why is it in there? It's too much light. That's exactly the point. But then uh, our homecoming, we had 1,100 students at homecoming this year. Uh, so trust me. I just sit out in the parking lot with my spotlights, making sure <laughs> people go in there, go dance, go home. But I'm actually going to also walk you through the weight room. You all talked about the weight room being on the stage. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is not to knock athletics, because I was here at the same time. Southfield High and Southfield A&T Athletics, from 2008 until now, surpassed all of the athletics at Southfield High the previous 50 years. There is talented people, but the attention to training and the ability to train now compared to then is unmatched. The football team has made the playoffs nine out of the last 10 years. I haven't had a losing season in 10 years. So, been to the state semifinals twice, quarterfinals three times. And you'll see why when you walk through here. So this is our facility, so we even offer weight training as a class two periods a day. Um, when we were really going, we offered football tech, basketball tech, four times a day, about six years ago. But our gym classes in general, our female gym classes use a lot of the pin roll and stuff. This is general, our actual competition athletes, so varsity athletics utilizes these nine racks. We'll have 90 football players in here on the varsity at one time. One big point is, going back to the merger thing, we have over 200 kids playing football at South Carolina. So 9th through 12th grade, over 200 players. There are 90 on the varsity. Um, as I said, us offering competitive cheer now, we have 25 young ladies on competitive cheer. Then we have 25 on the 9th, 10th, or 9th JV and varsity uh, cheerleading team. We want to make sure that our students participate in the climbing culture of the building. So we want to give them as much of, of an opportunity to play sports, participate in um, the arts, different things like that because we were starting to lose. So Now you're going to start to say, Okay, we were in O-House, some things look familiar. You're not going to see anything that looks familiar.